G'day guys and welcome to Warcraft Wednesday. Not really big news this week, but the show must continue. Now, a couple of updates on 4.3. Dragon's Hole will be the name of the new raid, which will contain seven bosses all up in total. There will be a mount reward for killing Deathwing, and he will also only drop weapons. The new five mains that are coming out, End Time, Well of Eternity, and Hour of Twilight, are in sequence of lore and uh, will give us a bit of a description on how this all come to place, because it looks like we're going back in time, back in time, forward in time, back in time. Um, I'm not a big fan of the whole time travel stuff in World of Warcraft, but, you know, it'll be something rehashed, but new, and uh, I am looking forward to see how the lore goes. I'm not really a big lore guy, but this should be fun for the first maybe three or four times as you go through, and then hopefully we get to skip it like the other Kevin's of course time with all the BS in the front. So definitely looking forward to it, and something to look, at, look out for as well. Also, just very quickly, Melee, whilst raiding, will be getting a buff. Uh, they haven't come out and said how. It would probably be an attack power buff to keep up with the range, so that's probably good. Um... It would probably be better if they toned things down as opposed to keep bumping them up. Um, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Uh, the much controversial Rogue Legendaries. Now, uh, last week's video, I probably should have worded it better, uh, as in it's the only Rogue-specific Legendaries that they've got. Uh, I, I appreciate all the comments, both good and bad. Uh, it, it does mean a lot to me. So we now know that the, the Legendary Weapons are going to be a pair much like the well-discussed Warglaves in last week's video. So, um, again, let me know if you think this is a good good idea or a bad idea. Uh, is it a good good idea that rogues are getting a legendary? Uh, and is it an even better idea that they're going to get uh, now two? Now, um, I'm not really sure how, how I feel. I don't have a rogue, but um, I think they're pretty much on par. Like, if you look at some of the DPS passes and stuff like that, they seem to be pretty on par. And I'm not really sure if they're going to need such a big weapon to be able to do even more damage and I don't know let me know what you think when patch 4.3 does hit we now know that the look for raid system will have a easier degree than uh, the normal and heroics but the item levels will also be lower as well that's just a quickly rehash up on that I also think when patch 4.3 hits uh, now this is just me sort of having an educated guess that the uh, the cross realm PvP will also start up again, and I haven't seen anything on that to actually confirm it, that's just me having a guess. So that's definitely something to look out for, and considering that I play on two different servers, both Calistrez and Darkspeed, being, being able to PvP with my friends as well as doing some five mans um, on either server would be fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to this feature, and I think it's a very good step forward with what Blizzard are doing. AXP has been lowered uh, in Northrend by two thirds, so that'll let you get through that area a little bit quicker. You dual crafters out there, uh, a little bit unlucky there. If you've been hoarding ore to be able to try and prospect it into get uh, epic gems, uh, Blizzard have released news that uh, your epic gems are now going to be dropping from inside the instance now. Whether you have to mine something in there or they're going to come from a boss or just random drops, uh, they haven't said or I haven't noticed. Um, knowing Blizzard, they'll probably nerf that and let some of the, some of the ore be able to uh, prospect into into your epic gems. So um, <laughs> unlucky. Every now and then when I come across a very good video for this Together to the Top thing, I think I might spend a couple of seconds here and just try and give them a little bit of love. Now, I actually haven't spoken to this guy, I'm just doing it for a surprise. Now, he's actually one of the guys that up on Swifty's banner, on his on Swifty's main channel, uh, Invisible Zero Tom. Now, he's put up a, a rather nice video, another relaxing video uh, of a Minecraft server where he's got like this nice water effect going along. Now, he didn't program it, he's just using the mod. Um, and he's just fly flying around, it's got some really relaxing music, and I really enjoyed it. So that'll be up on the TV here, and um, I'll, I'll try and get a link for him down below. So definitely go check him out. If not, he's on Swifty's banner, uh, so just go through the, that banner until you see that. If you want to get selected for Swifty's banner, go to his main channel, and you'll see there's an email there that you can submit a video to. Now make sure you format it in a very clear understanding way with the link already there, already hyperlinked. So it's very easy for the guys to come and see so they can remember you rather easy. Now that's a big tip that I can give to you to try and get you guys noticed. Because once you get up in Swifty's box, you're going to get noticed and you're going to get a lot of views. Like um, I think uh, the guys are getting around two to 5,000 views per video. So that's something really you guys can look forward to. So definitely get onto that. I'd like to thank everybody for the screenshots that they've sent in this week. Now, we've had a pretty good turnout again, and I believe we're having some return customers. So that's always good to see. So, remember, if you'd like to send in your screenshots, send them to sadotv at gmail.com, 
and um, I can put them up on next week's video. Make sure that they're in the 16x9 format so I can put them up nice and easy. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I know it's a very quick video, but there's not a great big dinner news out. And um, as always, guys, stay beautiful.